Hello there guys and welcome to our 34 C++ tutorial. Today's tutorial, let's go ahead and talk about, um, we're going to continue with a templates example. Today's, today's tutorial is going to be, we're going to basically, if you remember our previous tutorial, it was about templates um, as well. But today we're going to have a um, multi-type of uh, basically templates so we can pass not only a single type but uh, multiple type of um, variables multi-type variables so if you guys didn't watch the previous tutorial guys go ahead and do that and please watch all my other series of tutorials guys it truly means a lot leave comments with suggestions concerns anything in particular like that rate the videos guys and please please subscribe to my channel it truly means a lot it, 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 it lets me see if i'm doing a good job or not it gives me a lot of feedback so if you haven't gotten a chance to do that guys go ahead and do that uh, let's go ahead and get started so let's go ahead and get started by typing our code if you don't if you don't quite understand uh, I suggest you watch the previous tutorial and we'll also go at, at the end of the code once we're done typing it we're gonna go over in more detail so you guys can understand better alright let's go ahead and include our library first so the IO stream IO stream next using namespace standard and next we type template this is how we define our template class and I'm gonna put here t1 for type 1 and then we do class same thing here t2 for type 2 alright now I'm gonna define a void function and I'm gonna call it let's call it print and we're gonna pass a t1 and let me call it A and T2. Let me call it B. Although you can call it anything in particular. Let's go ahead and define whatever we want our function to be. So let's type C out. And let's just type out uh, let's just print out A and then print and let's print out B. So all we're doing here is just printing out those two or let's just put a message in front of this just to make it let's say a equals and then that and then the same the same let's do here b equals so we, so we can make a little bit more clear so that's our template here with our function let's go ahead and go inside our main here I'm gonna start by typing return zero so I don't forget here I'm going to declare some variables here just any variable let me call n1 it's going to be in type it's 35 and let me n2 25 let me declare double variable here let me just declare one variable of each actually it'll be better so you can see the example understand better n1 let's say d1 for double well, let's just say nd. Uh, we don't need the one, so we only have one. D for double. Let me call it 25.75. And let me have it char here. Char. Let me call this char c for char. And let me set this equal to uh, c, I guess. Uh, let's also have a string here and call it s for string. And say I'm gonna type something. This works, I guess. This works. That's our string. But in, in order for us, let's go ahead here to um, and let's use our string. So let's go ahead and call our function here. To do that, we just go ahead and type print. So we call it by typing the name print, and then we basically pass it the parameters we want. So I'm typing. Let me pass it the int and double for it. So we can see the first example. And let's go ahead and pass it n, which is our int, and d, which is our double. Let's do the same thing again. Let's go ahead and print and let's pass it a double this time and let's pass it the char. And that was D C. And let's do the same thing here. Print. This time pass it char and then pass it string. And uh, C and S. And let's print one more thing here 
and let's pass it string well, let's pass it double again and string just so we make sure that is functioning correctly so double with B and string with S alright so this is our if you didn't watch our previous video guys I was in templates go ahead and watch that it's going to explain in more detail of how templates how we define templates and why we do so but here we are defining our template we're making it um, um, uh, basically a multi-type template so we can give it and um, basically in our case here we have a two um, two types so basically we're passing it um, uh, what you, uh, so, so we're passing it basically um, two two different data type variables in our case but we didn't specify what data type to do that we just this is how we define it we say class and we call one t1 and t2 these are these are the different data types I'm gonna pass to a function the same thing we want our function name here is print we have a return type of void so we have to type void if we want the function to be a different return type such as an int then we just specify t1 here and then we make sure that t1 is an int and also t2 which is our second data type here and and out here we're just printing those out just to see what we are doing and down here is that we're, we're, we're declaring and we're initializing um, four variables one uh, of data types in double char and string now here is this how we call our function we specify so we, we tell it that one we, we want one to be an in data type uh, in type and the other one will be a double type then we pass it those two parameters one is int one is double and we do and we do the same thing for the other three so what we should see printed out here we should see for the first one for the first call we should see we should see 35, 25, 75. Second call, we should see 25, 75. We should see C. Third call, we should see C. And the, the string, which is this works. And for the last one, we should see 25, 75. And this works. Let's go ahead and build this. Let's see if it builds successfully. We failed here. Let's see where we failed. Because let's go ahead up here and we need to include our string library here. Once let's go ahead and build this again. So rebuild. So now it was so we forgot to include our string library up here we must include that in order to to use the string uh, data up here the variable so make sure you do that so now it was built successfully let's go ahead and start without debugging and let's see let's go here and see so we got exactly what we expected a equals 35 25 that and then we're printing all those things out guys just like we mentioned so this was a tutorial on templates with uh, basically multiple types uh, so you can see how templates can be very flexible and can make your code look um, much more professional and basically are um, a better way of writing code because you can reduce basically CPU cycle times when so they'll make your uh, they'll make everything run faster and this is the pretty much proper way of writing uh, basically code but I mean uh, this doesn't exactly uh, um, if you if you know how to write it a different way more uh, you should definitely do it do it th the way you know best and then you can basically try to basically um, convert everything to templates and so on if you can do that sometimes you you're not able to do that but if you cannot do that then it's fine so first of all start start writing your code the, the way you know best so thank you for watching this tutorial guys this was a template this was a tutorial on templates with multiple types multiple data types so thank you for watching this tutorial guys if you didn't watch our previous tutorials and the other series of tutorials please watch those as well guys it's and leave comments with suggestions you know um, with suggestions and any requests and please rate all the videos guys it gives me a lot of feedback if you guys like the videos or not also subscribe to my channel guys if you haven't done so it truly means a lot so thank you for watching this tutorial guys and stick around for more tutorials to come uh, in the very very soon so and Thank you for watching this one and don't forget to subscribe guys. Thank you very much.